。エホマキ、ミーニング、ラッキーディレクションロール、ダリザ、スシロール、イン、オン、ダデイ、オブ、セツブン、フェスティバル、フェスイン、ダ、スペシフィック、ラッキーディレクション、オブ、ダ、イヤー。And there is no rule which feeling to be used, so it's all up to you. So I made a country roll that is made from、uh, pantry ingredients, and it's a kind of nostalgic sushi roll we grew up eating. Let's get started. First things first, rehydrate the dried shiitake mushrooms. Soak in water until fully rehydrate, about a couple hours or overnight in the fridge. Put them in a pot with sugar and water to cover that is used to rehydrate the shiitake mushroom. This water has a robust flavor of dried shiitake mushroom, so do not throw it away. Cook on low heat for 10 minutes to make it soft. After cooking the shiitake mushroom with sugar, they become soft, and then mirin and soy sauce are added to give them a delicious flavor that it allows them to be finished while maintaining their softness. Cook until almost all the liquid is gone. Next, kampyo. Kampyo is a traditional Japanese ingredient made from dried goat strips. It has a unique texture that Japanese people love. Kampyo is commonly used in Japanese sushi rolls and especially as an indispensable ingredient for country sushi roll. If you are not access to it, don't worry about that. I have another recipe for you at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Cut into the lengths you can easily handle and then wash. Add a pinch of salt and rub to soften the fiber. Wash the salt and soak in water for 10 to 15 minutes until fully rehydrate. Add fresh water to cover and boil for 10 minutes until soft. Drain and add a tablespoon of sugar and pour water or Kombu dashi to cover and cook for 10 minutes until soft. After 10 minutes, add mirin and soy sauce to the pot and cook 10 to 15 minutes until seasoned. Set aside until used. If you cannot access to the kampyo, use aburage instead. It's not quite the same but c r e a t e a similar texture and taste. Next, tamagoyaki. Tamagoyaki is a super versatile filling for sushi and everything in Japanese cuisine. Today I'm going to make a larger tamagoyaki than usual. Crack 5 eggs in a bowl, add 2.5 tablespoons of mentsuyu and the same amount of water, and add a pinch of sugar. I don't usually add sugar to tamagoyaki, but for the sushi fillings, just a little bit of sweetness balances all the components. Beat the egg well until the egg whites are mixed and then add seasonings. Start cooking 1 to 2 scoops of the egg mixture, cook on the medium heat and roll it up while the eggs are still wet. Slide the egg away from you, then grease the pan again and add egg mixture and run the mixture under the cooked egg, then roll it up. Repeat the process until the mixture is gone. It's really heavy, but it's equal to the deliciousness. Set aside until preparing the sushi rice. Drizzle the sushi vinegar over the hot steaming rice. Use your paddle like cutting the rice. Cover the each grain with the sushi vinegar with this motion. Do not smash the grain, otherwise, your sushi rice e n d up mushy. Let it cool to room temperature. Before rolling, let's finish the ingredients preparation. Slice thinly the cooked dried shiitake mushroom.
cut tamago yaki in half and cut cucumber into half. Place a bamboo makisu, the sushi mat, on the kitchen counter and press the nori seed, the shiny side down and wet your fingers to prevent the rice from sticking with vinegary water. And take a handful of sushi rice, about 150 grams, a little less than the usual because the filling is plenty today and spread it evenly over the nori seed and leaving about 1 inch of nori at the top. Spread the sushi rice to the each side and then towards you and spread it evenly. And place the tamagoyaki and cucumber and sliced dried shiitake mushroom and kanpyo in the center of the rice. Lift the edge of the bamboo mat with index finger and thumb and hold the filling with the rest of your finger and start rolling the nori over the filling and continue rolling using the sushi mat and apply gentle pressure and tightly to shape the roll. And there you have it, your ehomaki is done. Ehomaki is supposed to be eaten. Ehomaki is supposed to be eaten, bite into it, but you can slice it into the bite size as well. It tastes so good and it's so delicious. And let me introduce the easier version. Mince your carrot and lotus root, or spinach or sesame seed can be used instead. Put them in a heat proof bowl and cook them in a microwave for 1 minute at 800 watt. Pour over the sushi vinegar and mix it into the steaming hot rice. and spread onto the nori seed about 200 grams this time and then arrange the tamagoyaki and cucumber and then roll it up it's the colorful and cute version of the ehomaki this can be made with your everyday ingredients One slice could be a little bit large for one bite, but give it a try. A lot of different texture is going on your mouth with sweet and savory taste, and this is what I want and I can eat the whole roll. Seriously, this is so good. And remember to eat ehomaki facing the lucky direction for the year. East northeast this year. I hope you will give this recipe a try. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families and consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any of my new videos. And follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And join my happy eating group to share your food with me. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. And for more information, visit my website princessbamboo.com. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!